Morning folks, I thought I'd make a uh, have a go at a different sort of view, partly made up, partly from memory. Uh, I wasn't going to do another one today, but uh, I don't know, I, I just I just really enjoy doing this. Now I'm just going to make myself a paper scraper, scrape off all the, uh, the uh, my uh, paints somewhere to uh, uh, so perhaps get that off. Uh, that'll do. Well, just a couple, a couple of sheets of uh, tissue paper rolled over and clipped with a clip on the floor. So it's a bit of a, a mountainous terrain I'm going to try. I've already put a bit of white on the palette to save, keep going. It's a small palette, I, just a bit of MDF. So I just use, use this and just scrape it on the edge. So uh, cadmium uh, red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, uh, cadmium yellow and raw sienna. No, yellow ochre, yellow ochre. The paint's grey I've got here, uh, I don't include as a colour. It's like black and white, Payne's grey and white. And I want a bit of a cloth because I, a couple of days ago I had a real mess. Uh, right, okay, so let's uh, so a touch, a, touch a blue. Now, as I've explained many times before, my favourite knife painter is Sir Caffin Williams. You can mix on the on the paper. This is a canvas uh, paper. It's very good. Uh, I don't like working on the canvas and, and, and canvases uh, on on the uh, stretchers because I haven't got any room anymore to to keep painting them. So I just use the thinnest stuff I can for demonstration purposes. I'll put a bit of a sketch on as you can see, it's just a guide. It won't be stuck to. Let's have a little bit of a bit of ochre on there. But I, I love doing these. I prefer, I prefer these to watercolour painting. I just, I've just lost quite a bit of interest in, in those. Although I will continue to do them, but uh, well, this is exciting. It's uh, it's physical. Right, I've got some on my finger. So let's let's get that in. It's a bit of um, cadmium red mix, a bit of oxygen and the water and the uh, the white, titanium white, just ordinary student qualities. There are no artist qualities on the palette. Just trying to work this sky out, get a bit more depth in the sky. Now you can overwork these. So sort of a Let's just get some oh, 
Right, okay, let's uh, put a little bit of blue up in the top here. Bit streaky, but then, but you can put your clouds in, you can have a bit of ochre. Yeah. Right, we'll get the mountain in now, or oh, mountain range, background. Right. Now I'm going to I'm going to carry on with this knife. It's it's a lovely knife. Well, a bit of repetitiveness. These are uh, all my my uh, knives are Winsor Newton. They are superb quality. If you want to do this, don't don't be low, lured into the uh, chromium plated ones. They don't last. These are very springy, beautiful. Right. Um, so we want a bit of bit of. Uh, Blue and red to get a nice. So we want a bit of distance, and that'll be there. Oh, I've got my, my finger on that thing. Oh, yeah, my index finger on the uh, pile of uh, yellow I've put out. I don't know why I put so much out, but. I've got to go over some of that and try and put a bit of misty stuff. That might be too much, but. Uh, Well, my head's going in a way, it shouldn't be that, but you never know. Just get that background in and I, then I'm going to just go over it with a clean knife and just smudge it a bit. Oh, we'll get some t trees along there. Uh, oh, so it is more peaky. Clean the knife, and I'm going to go on to my other knife. Uh, I want to get some, well, we'll just, let's get some burnt sienna in there now, in all that work. And I can put some some uh, 
trees in front of these, this uh, slope here, background. A bit of yellow to that. Lost me, me high me uh, horizon line. I did so. I'm going to put in some trees. So a red, blue, yellow. A lovely rich green. I, I like mixing those greens. Yellow, just the three primaries. about horizontal there. Right, clean that, that knife, clean that knife. Let's see if we can just, just lose some of that. See stuff behind. Clean the, clean the line. I'm just bringing a bit of a mist in here. Missing them with their hills. Oh, I need to moderate some of those a little bit. It's going to sort of a OK. 
okay two. now we're going to come across here uh, I'll just put a, put a sort of a, a bit of landscape too close to my palette that's the trouble But it's better to persevere, I'll put a bit of dark over that. And show you the actual mixing that I'm doing. Oh, I'm a bit lighter. Uh, I'll tell you another great uh, knife painter, it's Harley Crossley. I believe he did a demonstration for us in our art group, art club, years ago. It's a bit darker there. Get that counter changer, very important. Light against dark, dark against light. I've, I can use my uh, my larger mount, double mounts, on this. So I I didn't I didn't know I had some some larger sheets. Oh, let's get a uh, bit of light, more light on there. That's quite a bit difficult to do this uh, board there, I need to get in there. That's, uh, Let's just put a bit of that yellow back in here. Do it that way. Right, okay. We'll uh, get a bit of burnt in here. Bit of paint's grey in there. Right, let's get. I'll, I'll leave that for a minute. I'll just get back into that. Get that horizon, horizontal. Now there's going to be a blue cast to the uh, to the water because because of the sky so we've got a nice bit of bluey grey in that sky so what we don't want is white
Uh, right, uh, let me need another knife. This could end up being a labour of Hercules. Uh, when you get paint stuck to the blade, you just just use a craft knife and just pull the uh, the paint against the blade. No, I can't really show you, but there's my craft knife, my sanding knife. But I just uh, just oops. No, it's a bit, a bit dodgy, so I just take that off. I just peel it off the back. Just a bit more. Well, right, so I've taken that much off the back. Uh -huh. Right, so I've got a nice clean knife. We'll extend that uh, horizon into there. Well, we can refine that a bit later on. Alright, so let's get another, let's get that down there. Yeah, Harley Crosley, he, he was very good at doing houses. I'm not. He, he, uh, it's a way of working from one side to another. I work down. Uh, we need a bit of a... Uh, just, just, just about got that uh, counter change there. Mm. Right, I, I want to just straighten that one up there. So I'm using a big knife. Could put a little bit of reflection in there. Just merge it a little bit. Right, let's go back and uh, straighten that uh, bit up there. So I've got some more of that creamy blue.
The reason I do these is because I love doing them. This is my favourite way of painting. You can use acrylics, but acrylics will dry very quickly. And you'll get lots of hard edges all over the place. So you have to work quick, but it's a, it's a valid method. But uh, I, I just love doing these. It's just so... I put a load of white on there. Let's get some of this. Let's get up a little bit down here. The yellow ochre. I'll just mix, mix, mix some of that. Just a bit of a bit of texture on the oh, just put a bit of green in it. Oh, I've got a bit of more yellow, yellow ochre. All white. So okay, I've got two, I've got two tubes of this, this big one, and I've got a, most of a tube of Griffin white. Now I would put a bit of a bit of a Just do a rough foreground. Just, just, just put some paints on and just squidge it away. Uh, I'll, I'll put some water in there as well.
Right, I'll put a bit of water in there. Uh, Right, let's just uh, mark a little bit of uh, dark. That's quite hard, eh? That's why. Let's so get a bit of a more <coughs> right now, um, that's quite quite peaceful, isn't it? another bit of fur.
Well, I saw a little bit of highlight. Got a spot for that paint I put out. You have to prepare for yourself for wasting a lot of paint. Don't flatten your marks out. Well, I mean, you have to be put it on, but, but leave some of the lines showing. When you sort of look at it from those, uh, from a rakish angle, uh, you'll you'll see them. There's there's nothing. Let's put a little bit of life in here. Trying to get a bit of white. So a little bit, a bit there. Well, I don't think I'll do much more than that for this one anyway. Let's uh, dismantle. See, this is largely why I, I carry off with them because I've got all this paint left. I'm sure there's, there's a conspiracy in, in uh, putting the paint in the tubes so when you squeeze it for a little bit a lot comes out. Right, okay, let's uh, take that off. Uh, now I don't know how I'm going to uh, do this but um, uh, if I, what I do, I'm going to take it out. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's rather, the ball's rather big for, uh, for everything I've got on the table. I, I, I need to flatten it. I'm going to flatten myself. Uh, Put my knives on it. Uh, I'll put that there. Uh, um, hum, hum, hum. I know. Just, just let this down a bit. A lovely easel, this uh, Mabeth box easel. I've had it years. So there we are. So let's sort of put that on. Knock it out of the most of the paint. Right, let's uh, get that down there. There we go. So there's a sort of a Scottish scene. You like this one? I... I, uh, I quite, I quite like it. It's, uh, it's very rough, uh, but to do it in a uh, knife painting rather than a brush painting, it makes a quite a, an impact, I think. Uh, I can't really. I wonder if I can just. No, it needs to go up a bit. I'll just whoops, oh dear. Uh, I don't think that'll do it uh, because, uh, don't worry about it, I'll, I'll straighten the camera up in a minute. Uh, 
Well, we'll, we'll let that go at that. I can't get any better than that. It's, it's quite with, with the, uh, the mount on it. Uh, but, but at least the, the uh, painting fits the uh, fits the mask or the mat or the double mount. Uh, there we are. Uh, could put a bird in there, I suppose. Uh, what do we? What do we uh, no, you don't want a bird. Enough bird. Uh, right, I hope you like it, folks. Um, comments on a postcard. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.